All right, what's up? Hello. Hi. Very stop. I hope you're doing very well. I wish you a wonderful, incredible, amazing life. You know? Weird. I just wish that to everybody every single day. Instead of wishing someone a great day, I wish you a wonderful life. <laughs> Never know when I'll see you or talk to you again, right? And, you know? Just as a, as a fun little thought, right? Like, why not, right? Why wish somebody a good day when you wish them a good life, I guess, right? Hey, mister. Uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, I'm currently playing um, a new character. Swapped over to a barbarian. It was a character I wanted to play. I was planning to play this with my friend Rise of the Dragon, but um, schedule-wise, I don't... Maybe we'll just end up playing together endgame and doing some riffs or something. Like, that would be cool. As far as uh, what I want, I've always, man, I want to find a game where I could level up with somebody with a friend that we level up together and only together a certain character, right? Like, you can, of course, play other characters as much as you want, but like a character that you play together. Anyways, anyways, um, today's topic that I wanted to talk about, and there's actually been a few, and but this one I decided on because it's the only one that I could recently thought about that I think I could handle mentally. <laughs> anyways, um, <laughs> So, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> this just kind of happened, like, I'm, you know, whatever. Anyways, yeah, I've had some weird topic here, topic, topic for right now. Exclusives and why they matter. Oh my gosh. And just even saying those words and thinking those words and having them come out loud out of my brain and my mouth and stuff is kind of funny to me because uh, it pisses me off to even like um, have to make this argument because I used to be super uh, anti exclusives a long time ago. Um, I'm only recently pro exclusive games. Only. Only since the PS4 and the Xbox One am I finally like, Oh no, we need exclusives, you stupid bastards. And I'll tell you why. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's because I bought both damn consoles. That's why. I am pissed, and that's why. And that's when I learned, oh, exclusives really do matter. So, and the, the main reason for that, uh, so we, we have uh, incredible games. Incredible all the games that have come out in the past decade and 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 always always games have gotten better and better as well as worse and worse and yeah that's, that's just the way everything goes right um but <laughs> i guess i guess they're just there used to be more exclusives and now one of the reasons that people will say now one of the reasons i will call it a reason not an excuse because it, it seems like it it seems like a I can, I can understand one of the reasons that there are less exclusives is because they take longer they're bigger budget and stuff like that right <clears throat> now <clears throat> I, I i the only I can understand that games might take longer and require bigger budgets and stuff like that, whatever, right? But I'm like, there's not one company making these games, so it's still a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really think that's, like, like, I don't know. By itself, that's not a good enough reason. I think by itself, it's, I'm just like, hmm. And I don't have any really big arguments against it. I just haven't heard, like, by itself, I'm like, no. And I haven't heard, like, stuff that supports it along with it, personally. I'm, it's probably might be out there. I'm just saying I haven't heard it. Mm. Uh, which doesn't mean it's not out there. <laughs> doesn't mean it doesn't mean millions of people aren't aware. And I'm, I'm probably just super ignorant because that's how I am. I'm a super ignorant person. Uh, it comes to a lot of things. Like, anyways, anyways. Um, I'm just, I'm, what I'm saying is there are things I don't know, uh, which is a lot. And I don't remember what I was even saying there. I actually, I even lost myself there. I, I, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Like, right, cause that's not where I was trying to go or even meant to go. And I don't even know what happened there. And I just shut my brain off. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's going to be here. It's going to be in the damn recording because I don't edit it. Oh man, <laughs> excuse me, holy crap. 
The world All right, anyways. Seems different in this age. It does. It is. I've been like tired and heavy with sorrow. So weird all the time now. Oh, I forgot to switch to the axe on on this this. <laughs> I forgot this was this was new. I I just I just I just <laughs> unlocked the throwing axe thing last night. Uh, and before I logged out, I was like, I'll try it for a second, and I had forgotten because I had just finally tried it. I had, I had played a little bit of Barbarian before, and um, never really used the Thorn Axe. Cause I remember the, when I tried it before, I didn't like it. I immediately didn't like it. But this time, this time I was playing the Barbarian, and I was like, yeah, I like that. That's fun. It's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> anyways. <clears throat> no, um... I think back to uh, when I remember being really pissy about exclusives. Uh, it used to make me really mad. I'd be like, why do exclusives exist? This sucks, you know? Um, that was back in Genesis and Super Nintendo days. And I think back to it, and I don't... I couldn't even list them off, but just from just general basic memory, I, I seem to recall there being like way more exclusives per platform so you know there was like at least a minimum of a hundred games on this nintendo that you could not play on your genesis you know right like so yeah it sucked that you had to own both systems if you wanted to play those games but um there was a real reason to you know <laughs> definitely not like that anymore. Um, it's it's crazy. I really think that PlayStation is gonna lose uh, the way they're going. The way they're going, I, and I think I don't know if they just don't care. I don't know if they're heading in a different direction. I don't know if they don't care. Um, it's the idea I get. I don't know though. Maybe I mean it could be their strategic stuff behind this. I don't know. It does not look good. <laughs> as as a person that's been a, a PlayStation fan. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, dude. And I'll tell you, it's they, they're, they're doing their whole PC stuff, and everybody else is loving it. And I'm like, well, hold on. And I, it's the only reason, only reason that I'm like, hold on, is because I bought the Xbox One and the PS4, and it was not worth it <laughs> at all. And I don't like. It's funny because like I often think about back to it, like how I kind of like I regret it. I regret it. I don't really like regret it. Regret it. Like, like whatever. Like not like some major life decision that ruined my life you know like i don't, I don't actually care it's just a waste of money you know <laughs> like it sucks whatever uh, but i have had fun on both systems including this, this the crap box one um but, uh, was the only but nah yeah i mean that was my first time you know, I'm in my 40s, and the first time I was, I played on two consoles uh, for the generation, where I was like, "Wow, exclusives matter. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is horrible. Love all the games. The games are amazing. All the cross-platform games, all the multi-platform games, they're great, man. Yeah, the games are good. It's just the platforms are just, and Microsoft doesn't have to care." That's why I think Sony's gonna lose. I mean, Microsoft owns the world, you know? I'm like, you know, right? Like, Sony, they, well, I guess they own a part of the world, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I guess I haven't really looked as much at Sony. Sony's big as well. They are. They're pretty big. I mean, they don't need PlayStation or anything. That's so, you know, I don't. I, I just, that's what I like. <laughs> they, they just might not care if they lose PlayStation right now. They're just like, you know what? Whatever, dude. Like, we're done with consoles, like, whatever, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I haven't really... I don't know about this gen. I haven't really been paying much attention to this current, our right now gen. I haven't been paying much attention to it. I, like... Well, number... I mean, this kind of happens even PS3. Like, I didn't get a PS3 until, like, uh... <laughs> PS4 was about to come out. <laughs> you know? Maybe, like, a year before the PS4 came out, I think. Um, and the, I mean, the, one of the, the, if it wasn't, I, I don't know, this, this, the things all in general have been crazy for so long. I probably would have financed the PS5 if not for the move and 
all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but the availability is not very good on that, right? You know, I mean, PS5, you can't just go get one. Um, Xbox, uh, I kind of, at this point, <clears throat> with the way things are going, I kind of want to end up going Xbox just because Sony. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, like it makes sense to me that Microsoft doesn't care if they win the console war because <laughs> they own everything. You know, I mean, like, <laughs> I don't know why people don't like see that, right? Like, how do people not see that? Like, <laughs> they try to make it. They try to. I don't look. I just from the, the responses I've seen and the comments I've seen, and people will like be like, "Oh, it's because Microsoft cares about the players." And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> ah, well. <clears throat> That's a nice thought, ain't it? That's a nice thought. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't remember why I got into that. that after, like, that, that, that just kind of rolled out. It wasn't, you know my mind wasn't there and then it went there and now I don't want to think about that anymore <laughs> you know it only gets worse I said that since I was 14 I made that was my website man I was 14 years old that was my website it's fight club themed it's called it can only get worse <laughs> that's horrible man it sucks <laughs> Wait, was I was it four? I think it might have been like fifteen or sixteen. It might have been fifteen or sixteen. I can't remember when. They, like, I don't remember exactly how old I was when the internet came out. So it was probably fifteen or sixteen. I don't remember it being out when I was fourteen. It might, I don't know, man. Uh, anyways, it was around me. <laughs> but I had a website. This portal will lead me to the head of Zoltan Cool. <laughs> Uh. All right, exclusives. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I was, like. I mean, like, look, look, look. If I hadn't bought the PS4 and the Xbox One, and and gone through that experience <laughs> of the lack of exclusives, um. I, I just hate Xbox One's interface. I've hated the system. I don't like Microsoft as a company, whatever, right? Outside of that, whatever. It's, it's just general, like, like you know. Um, but game-wise, you know, love, love both, both, love both systems game-wise, you know. Um, but uh, the lack of, lack of exclusives shined more than anything. <laughs> more than anything. Uh, the exclusives themselves are great. I I preferred PlayStations by far, by far. Um, you know, <laughs> by far, <laughs> so much more. Uh, preference, you know. Um, <clears throat> but then you know now they got the PlayStation. Like, and I thought it was cool that they did PS Now on PC. I was surprised. I was like, oh wow. I love PS Now. I love cloud gaming, man. That surprise. I was like, damn. That was a big deal when that happened. I don't know how many people actually realized how big a deal I saw. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, wait. PlayStation put PS Now on, on PC? And, and you know what? You know why? You know, I think the biggest reason both people didn't like get super shocked was because it was cloud and everybody just generally just hates on cloud gaming for, you know, whatever. I guess the majority of people haven't had a good experience. It's weird to me because I know a lot of people, including myself, who have an incredible experience. So apparently a lot of people in the world have a terrible experience with cloud gaming. So, And then I've had, I've, I mean, I've experienced lag and it's not cool. And I can see that if, it, if it's a constant thing that you just constantly experience lag or whatever. Yeah, no, that's a terrible experience. <laughs> Anyways. But I think it probably would have been a bigger deal if it wasn't cloud gaming. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, but... 
I love cloud gaming, man. PS Now is a big deal. There's so many games in that damn thing. Like, it's no... It's, uh... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, Game Pass is cool as well. I do, like, you know what's fall? You know what that reminds me of? You know what's funny to me? Uh, like, and I still don't understand. I remember, actually, somebody had responded to me. I think it was even a tweet that I tweeted out. I was asking a question. So, you know, uh, Xbox has the cloud thing, right? <clears throat> they have their own cloud thing. Uh, but apparently, I don't know why this is. They don't, they don't, like, have an app for it on the Xbox. Like, you know, if you go on PlayStation 4, and I imagine, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same on PS5, but it was on PS3 as well, you know, the PlayStation Now app, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? There's a PlayStation Now app on there to, to do the cloud gaming uh, on there. They don't have that for Xbox, and I'm like, wouldn't that have, shouldn't that have been one of the first, it's weird to me that they just wasn't one of the first things they, they would think about. And at the same time, like, you know, like at the same time, like, it's, they don't think as, as a gamer. It's, they're, they're not for the gamers, man. They're a company, and they're working with tech. That's what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, and it's, it's a different perspective. It's, that's how I see it, anyways. It's the only thing that, that I can, like, I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what it makes sense to me to think of it like that. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah, I could be completely wrong. Right, maybe I'm just super stupid. <laughs> anyways... Um, no, so, I, like, I hope at one point, some, at some point, they'll friggin' finally add, like, the cloud gaming, uh, app to their, to their system, the console or whatever. To search for cool hidden art. Um, so I would do it, I would use it, I'd use the cloud, I'd be playing on the cloud on there. As, Cause even on, even on console, like, you got you got the storage to deal with, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a whole, everything is interesting the way I think we're going, but yeah, like, so I don't hate that Sony put their games on PC, but I think it's a very bad decision. Uh, I think, I think that has already started the losing battle right there for, for Sony. Um, <laughs> I really do. I am returning to If it, if it isn't cool, like, I don't care. I don't care if I'm wrong. That's just what I see. I'm like, well, this is not looking good, you know. I think Sony's being stupid. I think they're screwing it up. <laughs> Exclusives do matter, and the consoles that taught me that more than anything else in all my the rest of my life was PS4 and Xbox One. <laughs> you know? Oh man, my goodness, and it's not because the games are bad, the games are incredible, the incredible assortment of library, a lot of great stuff on there, Game Pass is great, PS Now is great, like, uh, I don't, I mean, that's pretty much, that's, I don't even remember what else they've really done, uh, outside of just continuing to be cool, you know, <laughs> I, I, it's like, I mean, I haven't done anything, like, spectacularly new that I can think of, that I, that I know of, or whatever, um, but yeah, no, it doesn't, I mean, I still think they're cool and stuff. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, uh... a. <laughs> reminds me of when everybody made a big deal out about, like, Epic making, um, wanting the exclusive games only on the Epic launcher. And people threw a big fit. Like, now it has to be on Steam. <laughs> I... You know, I mean, the, it's especially funny to me be, because they got pissed. Off. Like, I don't, I, I, I like, I don't know, man. Um, I'm not for the company at all. I'm not for Epic, but I'm also like, oh, it just. I think it's weird that um, everybody's so stuck on steam imagine how hard it was to get people on it in the first place you know what i mean i mean i remember that being hard for facebook and it still is and, and people avoid it for good reason i'm glad i should I, well i mean i don't even have to delete it I, i'm kind of <laughs> anyways um <laughs> um everything takes a while to migrate usually unless it blows up but but most things take a while to migrate to you know uh, MySpace wasn't easy. He could, I was there. I remember MySpace. I remember um, 
some people jumped to it right away and then lots of people didn't you know so it had like a lot of people but it didn't have everybody it took a while for everybody to start really going there and then it was the norm very briefly and it like <laughs> anyways that happened with a lot of stuff and it happens with everything um so that's what i think is really funny uh, when it comes to people that like complain about like oh no facebook and twitter are fate of censoring people and i in a, in a small way i get it at the same time because um the companies themselves whatever companies i'm like just for example generally like we'll go to microsoft i said microsoft owns everything um <laughs> so and that's what happens, and it slowly happens too. It's happening before, and, and uh, it's weird because it's supposed to be illegal. And I, don't, I guess nobody's paying a, enough attention, or or it's just there's just so much money being thrown around that nobody. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know how the this has, has been happening. Um, anyways, like you know, the companies take over and. And then you don't really have a choice. Uh, like, I forget what it is. Like, what all does Comcast own or whatever? Um, like, what? They had, like, f at least four different ISP companies had merged, right? I forget. It's been a while since I even paid attention to that, too. Because, like, what can I do? Like, you know? Other than be like, hey, um, okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> uh but no, you know, I can't remember what they all were, but there was like at least four different ISPs that merged. And it was slowly over time. At first, it was two of them merge, and then another one merged with those, right? So after a while, right, it was two that merged, became one. Uh, and then another one merged with that one. So it didn't seem like three companies were merging. It seemed like only two companies were merging. That's how, you know, they just kind of slowly ate them up and stuff. Uh, <laughs> Pretty crazy man um so so it's about facebook and twitter and censorship and stuff so i think it's funny because because it is possible to relocate i uh, like rockfin for example is the current alternative for independence they're um doing media and stuff like that um mostly news i think but i think they have other stuff as well but independent news uh they're rockfin r-o-k-f-i-n rockfin I've been there. I haven't. I've had an account for a little while. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it is. Tough. But anyways, but it is possible Today to is no to I migrate to other me. sources and stuff. But I, uh, you know, the, the bigger companies, uh, like those, like <laughs> it is. It is possible. It is. I'll put him in your bag. It is. Um. But if somebody's like buying the entire internet, and I mean, like that's what the government, whoever, I right? like, it's out there plain and in, in, in plain sight, spoken in clear English. You know, if if you get banned from one social media, you should be banned from all of them. That's what they're proposing, and that's not like, that's literally what they're proposing, uh, and that'll probably go through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at some point, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that happen in like a year, but I would, uh, 10 years maybe. Anyways, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see the bushes like that soon though. There's, there's so much going on. You can't pay attention to anything. In there. Uh, yeah. I can't believe what people throw. <laughs> That's how it always oh, goes, right? Uh do 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 hmm. Let me let me switch my gear here real quick. And uh, and then I'll continue my my ramblings. I don't wanna like super focus on upgrades because they're not like big ones, but you know, I wanna make sure I don't accident whatever. It's not like super important, man. I just want to get rid of my good stuff. I don't know if I want to keep the, the passive. I, I don't really... Yeah, I don't care. It's cool, though. It's a cool one. Alright. Alright. Exclusives. Um, I think I had said everything. I think. Basically, that just that uh, that they do matter. And I understand why people would, would think they don't. 
Because because it's frustrating. It is when you can't buy them all. But at this point, I mean, where we got in PS4 and Xbox One, you just pick one. Like, just look for which one has the two more exclusives you want. You know what I mean? Like, because that's that's what happened. That's what it was. Um, and, and I think especially now, if if Sony is gonna start multi-platforming and not caring about exclusives, then there really is no reason not to go Xbox instead with their little their little upgrade system and you know whatever like i mean you might as well if 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 you're gonna eventually get all the playstation games on your pc anyways or whatever you don't even need an xbox right to get a pc at that point right i mean that's that's what pisses me off it really pisses me off and other people they don't care especially pc enthusiasts they're like yeah it's about time i'm like you bastards i think the console wars do matter and not for all the wrong reasons that most people not for like Mine's better than yours, but because competition. Um, and and that like to to me it, it doesn't affect me on a personal level, you know. Um, but that's what's happening, right? You just you're gonna lose the competition, and then I don't know, man. Somebody else could explain what will happen after that, not me. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not good though. <laughs> Anyways, no, yeah. So, uh, so no. I'm. I mean, look. I used to be. I used to have the same thoughts of the people like, oh, exclusive. Ah, and why does that have to be exclusive? It used to make me really mad. Uh, but then I went to PS4 and an Xbox One, and I was like, oh, an interesting. Yeah, one this sucks. I wonder. If <laughs> it sucks really bad. You truly are. <laughs> What are you uh, <clears throat> I know I got into a little bit of a, a couple of other little topics that I probably could say more stuff about, but I don't remember what it was. Um, what kind of did it So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to end this recording now. Because I think um, I, I think that was it. I think it was this, that right there that I just finished with that last stop there on the exclusives and stuff. Um, Vanished into the wastes. Um, I think it's funny. I think it's funny, um, especially especially because of, of you know how it happened on PC as well. You know, Origin, UPlay. But I, you know what? And I and it, you know what makes me mad about UPlay? I'll tell you what makes me mad about UPlay. All right. I guess I'll keep talking for a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. You know, because all these other apps came out. Origin, everybody got mad because like Steam started forcing you to use them as well, right? Like, at first, those apps came out, and Steam, you could still boot the game straight from Steam, and everybody was laughing about it and making fun of it, and they were like, yeah, I can still boot it from Steam, so I don't care, and then eventually, you know, they made it so even if you boot the game from Steam, it still forces you to load the Uplay or Origin and stuff. Um, and I think they switched that again. I don't... I, I think they got rid of that requirement. I don't. I'm, I think it might depend on the game. I'm not sure. I haven't really played those games on Steam in a long time. Um, but I think they might have done another update to that or whatever. Um, anyways. Uh, so originally, though, when those apps were coming out, because I mean, one thing about that, um, I, had, I had gone through those, those all those different apps and launchers when I was playing like free to play games. I had quit World of Warcraft and. Um, I was just I try I try I tried pretty much every free to play game in existence, you know. I, I dude. I was looking for anything to play that I would, you know, just some a new game to get into and stuff. So I I played literally hundreds of games over a couple years. Um and they were all free to play games. And pretty much every one of them had their own launcher. Uh there was a couple companies that I'd come across they had multiple games like Perfect World very familiar with that company. I've, I've been playing their games a decade ago, you know. I think pretty sure. Anyways, <clears throat> around there. It's been a long time. Uh anyway, so I was very familiar with them and, and they're pretty big now. You like like their their games are on the console and stuff, you know, Star Trek Online is um but the Star Trek Online I'm pretty sure originally was not published by perfect world i don't think i think they bought them i forget because they they also went through company swaps as well i forgot because cryptic was a separate company and then i believe perfect world bought cryptic anyways um 
yeah so i was very familiar so i was so <laughs> so when uh when i had to start using all the different apps with for like you play and origin and stuff like that i was pissed as well because i was like oh not son of a dick i thought i was done with it because i've gone through all that crap with the free to play games oh man where am i going um but it was also used to it you know so i was like all right well whatever yeah, i want to play these games i'm gonna have to use their stupid launcher you know uh, and most people were like, I'm boycotting the launch, I'm never gonna play the game, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm playing, I wanna play the damn game, you know, like, I'm like, it's not that important to me to not download it on a freaking different launcher, you know. Um, but, like, I was, you know, it is annoying, it is, especially when you're playing so many different games, and when all these games require their own launcher, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, hmm, uh, uh, it's freaking annoying. Um, but... I, I don't know, I'm not I'm not fully against like exclusive platforms like that, especially when they're actually cool. Uh, so that's when I miss I miss the old Uplay. Well, sort of. Not the original Uplay, no. Those all suck when they first came out. Uh, Uplay, used, they used to have cool reward stuff that they would give you, like different skins and whatever in their games, like their own games. And you would get different skins based on the previous games that you played as well, right? And then the stores still sort of do that, but they also... Well, actually, I don't. I think they even got rid of that. I'm not sure. They changed their program system thing to like now they give you coins or so. I don't know. I, I, I as soon as I read all about that, I was like, dude, this is. I don't want nothing to do with this. This is stupid. Um, the only cool thing about it was like you could literally get like um, discounts for games when you buy them from their store or whatever. And I was like, this is just, just like. Um. And it's not like a horrible thing that they give you a discount. It's just it used to be really fun and cool, and then they ruined it by making it more business-like. And yeah, no, it, uh, uh, everything, man, it's everything, like, dude. Ugh. By the way, in case you don't know this, I don't know if you ever looked into it, but apparently, like most of the lead lead people at Ubisoft, I, I'm I would let's start. Let's say at least one or two of them, like a couple of the big, big, huge lead, like CEO up there people. Um, were, you know, gone to court for sexual allegations and stuff. And I don't remember if they were actually, um... Help! They never do that, huh? They never, like, do follow-up stories to certain things. It's always whatever whatever the best clickbait they can get you in, just to... Whatever. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, so no, uh... I love Ubisoft games, but uh, yeah, they, you know, all these companies are horrible, man. They're evil. They're all fucking evil. I think so evil. Why is everybody evil? <laughs> you know, like, like I have never been a fan of Yeah, I haven't been a fan of EA in a really long time. I can't even remember the first time I started hating them. I can't even remember the first time I started hating them. Uh, because it's been a, a like, they, I've just never been a fan of them as a company. Oh, I did it. At one point, I was. I was briefly. Oh, I, you know what? When I was a fan of EA, I'll tell you. Briefly. Was when they finally also started to have real, like, super low game sales. <laughs> prices on their game. Because they used to be like Activision. Like, these companies, they all took a while to, to lower their game sales. I don't know. I, dude, I've been buying games on sales forever. Um... And, uh, yeah, no, uh, it used to be, like, it would be Soft, EA, and Activision, and Nintendo were the four companies that you could almost never get a good sale for a game. Almost never. Their their sales were $40 and stuff, right? Like, $35, $40 on a game that was 10 years old. I mean, Activision still pulls that shit. Um, <clears throat> Activision right now is still the only company that pulls that shit. Oh, oh, besides Nintendo. Activision and Nintendo. They're, they're the two companies. Ugh, gross. It's so gross. Anyways. Um, but yeah, that was the only time I actually briefly was like, alright. Alright, EA. I think, you know, cool, man. Right on. <laughs> you know? Uh, <clears throat> anyways. But I love their games. You know, I love their games. I, like, <laughs> I might hate the company, but I love their games. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that sucks. Uh, you know, you know these companies, man. All these people, like at the top, are horrible. I don't know. Most of them, right? Like it seems like nine point nine out of ten of them, like I, you know, like they're all horrible. I will not be denied. Anyways, 
that's it for me for now. I don't know why I was gonna go with that or anything. I apologize if that was a if that was a downer to end on right there. I, I don't know, man. That all just kind of happened, right? So my bad, my bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think, and and if and if there's anything you would you're curious or just whatever about hearing me ramble about, let me know. Let me know, man. All right, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for chilling with me. I, I wish you a wonderful life. Bye-bye.